So what is up guys? So it looks like they made a PVP tier list recently from um, the company itself. They say it's for beginners, but it's like, this is like the interesting, most interesting tier list I've ever seen. Because some of it's accurate, some of it's questionable. Leo I can see, Grisa I can see, Fuma yes, and I don't know anything about Glitter Trigger. Trigger. Glitter Tiga. <laughs> So, I hope I don't run into and see how dumb it is, but I thought, like, well, Gee, believe it or not, Gee Galaxy Rising is very dumb. I've seen his combos. Trey Gear is pretty, pretty balanced, actually. Noah's interesting. Haven't seen much of him yet. But seeing that there's a good amount of epics, actually, in this high tier is crazy. Fuma being tier zero is wild, low key, but I'm not going to argue that. Fuma is interesting. He's got counters. He's got shurikens that give you good pop-ups to continue combos. But Leo, I could definitely see being high tier because everyone can own him, but he's also very good. And I'm just like seeing Zero Beyond being tier 0.5 is okay to me. That makes sense. He's got great combos with his boomerang attacks and his meter. But yeah, as you can tell, a lot of the legendaries are like lower than Fuma. Fuma blows my mind. Well, that's why I, I could see Ginga being good. I've seen a lot, someone actually say, like, how do you counter that? He's got some good moves, and I agree. But seeing Orb Origin up there, I see it, and I don't, but maybe there's some other tech I'm not accessing, accessing to him. And X, I only played once. I think I got to give him another chance. Blazer, I can't play because it requires Chinese money I don't have. And so on and so forth. Uh, Zero being tier one and also an interesting choice. I feel like he could be a little bit higher. I don't know. He has a lot of crazy stuff. Um, Photon Earth in tier one only is crazy. Delta Rise Claw and the Gil Valis being only tier one is wild too. But I guess Trey Gear and Galaxy Rising and Noah are stronger than these guys, which is weird. And obviously, Glitter Tiga is the strongest legendary in the entire game. Wow. Interesting. Uh, Ultazoid Zero is definitely good. He definitely feels tier one. He's got the stuff. Belio, I haven't unlocked yet. I'm hoping to get more access to him. Jug Jugulus, I can see definitely being like tier one. He's got some good tech. Nothing too crazy. Um, where's the. Where's that fish guy? Where's like. Oh, they didn't, he's just rated nothing. There was like a, there was like this little fishy. His name was like Gil, it was like a, I was going to tackle him soon, but yeah, he's not up here, but he's definitely not even tier worthy, if I can be honest. Maybe as I can see being low tier. Zapadown, I feel, I highly, highly disagree with, because he, Zepidon has been like my savior and my carrier in all my PvP matches. He does some dumb stuff. That's crazy. Um, yeah, no, uh, no, I don't, I don't see that. I'm sorry. No, no way for that one. Maybe it's yes. Z, yeah. Taiga, yeah. No, I know it's Gee's not even on here. But honestly, normal Gee is actually pretty trash. So I guess the people that were considered like really bad weren't on the list. You can see none of the normal commons are here. So you can tell they already consider them like not really high tier pvp characters but taiga being tier two yeah kind of i can see it zadon being tier two kind of but taking a look at these high tier characters this is crazy that leo they give you for free fuma is very accessible and like it's crazy because ginga is also pretty accessible too a lot of the epics are but wow it's like a lot of the epics are pretty good in the high tier. That's like five epics right there in the high tier. And of course, like a couple of ordinaries, extra ordinaries actually. Zero Beyond definitely seen being like up there with the tier zero, tier 0 0.5. Definitely. Definitely. So that's your tier list for Ultimate Legend of Heroes 2 PvP so far. We don't know what Blazar's yet, but I'm pretty sure he might be tier zero. Blazar, the armor one, you know, the fire. Ugh. I'm not. I just don't want to fight that yet. His gotcha's not even out yet, but we'll definitely see some in the near future. But yeah, Grease has been actually a threat to me from time to time in battle, so I can see why he's good. But it's nice to see like one epic kind of make it to tier zero. But it being Fuma is 
crazy to me. I thought it would have been Blazar. So that's your tier list for now, guys. We'll see if they update this every month and we'll keep track of it. But yeah, that's my personal opinion on the tier list they have here, which is crazy. I can't believe Delta Rise cause considered low. That that's nuts to me. But I, I can understand Galaxy Rising Geed. Ugh. But yeah, normal Geed did not make the cut, which I don't blame because he has like no combo strings whatsoever. He's a ru big runaway character. <laughs> yeah, I have to stay away from him probably the entire match. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be good. Stay safe. Stay tuned for some more Legends of Heroes 2 tierless discussion. But I'm upset about this one. The Zap. No. 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 He's, he carries me in all my matches. I'm not crazy. Thanks for watching.